Hello there, my name is Polish Links and welcome to Chushingura 46 plus 1S. Another night recording, but this is how it's going to be right now. Let's see where this is going. I stop suddenly as I return to the longhouse. Looking down, I see blood on the wet ground. I heard from Tadashichi that Hazemon is going to live. But. Hazemon? I open the door and see Hazemon under the covers. And beside him is Hatsu, looking like she's about to fall to pieces. Oh, Hatsu. Hatsu, how is he holding up? I see. I turned my eyes to Hazamon. He looks pale since he lost so much blood, but his breathing was steady. Well, that's good. He's lucky only his arm was injured. There should be a good chance for him to recover. Well, up until now, Hatsu seemed small since she'd been hunched over. But now she straightened her posture, looking at me with a dignified expression. The wish looks reminds me that she's from a samurai family. I was planning to lie to her, but now I'm at a loss for words. Ohatsu seems to understand what's going on after seeing Hazamon's injuries. I can just back away now and say I don't know anything. I can leave her out of this. What? Hazamon was injured trying to assassinate Kira. His reason for coming to Edo was to attack Kira. Uh, no. Hezum and I came to Edo to take our revenge on Kira. But please don't blame him. The plan for revenge was kept a secret even from family members. It seems like Hatsu understood everything, now that she knew the truth. This news must have been an earth-shattering surprise for her to say the least. Her brother, who was supposed to be looking for work, was actually carrying out a vendetta for his fallen lord. I, I guess you can tell from the situation he's in actually, if he did or not, but well. Uh, no he didn't. Hazemon was lured into a trap. Hazemon tried to attack him while he was riding in a palanquin. But I think it turned out that nobody was actually inside it. Someone was feeding Hazemon false information, so... Batsu's eyes become hollow.
What to? Ohatsu speaks soundly as she wipes the sweat of Hezemon's forehead. I couldn't bear to watch, so I turned around. And then... Hmm? Mm, that is...別にアニアニの仇を打ちたいなど大それたことを考えてるわけではありませんそのようなこと初には敵ないと承知していますそして鬱も打たれるも武士の習いということも存じていますただただそのものの名は胸に刻んでおきたいのです she looks me right in the eye. I'm hesitant to keep the truth from such an honest face. We just want to know their name, right? You promise? Hi. Shimizu. It was Shimizu Ichikaku. Well. You know her on the other name, right? She introduced herself to Ohatsu as Kosa Kazumi, actually. <sighs> Where this is going? Chee,結局、アコの連中は来なかったね。らしいわね。ああ、あの若い男。それとホリベアスベトもやり合いたかったのに。どうやらホリベヤスベはアナグマを決め込むようだねさすが江戸での生活も浪人経験も長いから視野も広いというわけかでもこれで主流派と旧神派は少なからず亀裂を生むはずさあ大石倉之助あなたはどう<笑> <さあ、おいしくらのすけ? 笑> March 25th. いちがく今日は何用だ。は。先日の一件、ご講義に訴え出てはならぬとご指示があったと審判地から聞きました。今日はその審議の補導を伺いたいと思った次第。うむ。確かに審判地には私がそのように申し渡した。なぜですかたとえからかごとはいえ襲撃してきたのはアコの方なら、ご講義に訴え出るべきでは。Report? Really? Where is the R? The second R. シンパチは今でこそ、キラケに仕えているが、もともとは上杉の人間。そのことが露見したら、上杉も戸川を受けるかもしれぬ。一学よ考えたなアコウの浪人どもを罠にはめてあげくご講義に捕らえてもらおうとしたのだろその方の画策なかなかのものだがやるなら新八抜きでやるべきだったな今回は多めに見てやるだが今後は上杉を巻き込む
一学よこれは私と大石の知恵比べなのだ先ほども申したが大石はキラ家など眼中にない大石はキラ家上杉家そしてご公儀の喉元にまで食らいつこうとしているだがそうはさせぬ逆に私が大石の寝首をかいてやるわ。What? なんという愚かなことを母上それでこの件でご公儀の動きはいえご公儀は動いてませんおそらくキラ家から訴えが出ていないのかと。キラ家が罠を仕掛けたというのが事実なら訴え出るような真似はしないでしょうそれは訴え出たらキラ家も危うくなるということですかはいとにかくご公儀に今回の件が耳に入ってないことだけは不幸中の幸いじゃおそらく上杉の過労が抑え込んだのであろう上杉の過労が何を考えておるのかは知らぬがその行為に甘えて利用させてもらうとするかでは兄兄行ってきますねあつおすすぐすぐおはようございますマリンクアウスケザモンまだ傷がひどく痛むみたいで。I see.It has been months since the incident.For now we do not see any signs of the c u r a s or the government around the a k o r o n i s b a n h e s m o n s branch has created restlessness within the a k o members.Right now everyone is not going anywhere alone in case k i r a attacks.There were few members who screamed revenge for h e s m o n But since the Chamberlain sent a letter of warning, those voices were silenced. And the time h a z a m o n went out less, and no one came to visit anymore. Although h a z a m o n s injury wasn't life threatening, the cut seems to have reached the arm muscle. It has made him unable to move it, and the wound was infected and painful. Atsu, are you sleeping well? Why are you lying? Avo had to say so, I can see dark circles under her eyes. I do not blame her. Walking out at a drink today for business and look after h e s e m o n at night. It must be tiring physically and mentally. Don't work too hard, and you can always talk to me. Be careful. h a z a m o n Well, you look old there. One step inside the house and the smell of alcohol is everywhere. I see an empty sake bottle next to h a z a m o n Yeah. h a z a m o n is drinking sake to kill the pain of the wound. How is the wound? This is from Yasuke. It's extra bandages. Hesmon, just focus on recovering now. You can work again when your wounds are healed. Yeah. いや、なんでもないいつもすまねえな様子を見に来てもらって Not at all, man Has a man I guess he's wondering about what the Chamberlain said After hearing about what happened The Chamberlain sent a street warning to all of the members in Edo Behaving rashly will not be acceptable. 
there was talk about making Hasmon leave the alliance. But Yasuba defended Hasmon, so the war situation was avoided. But still, after the incident, they could not let Hasmon free to roam. Nothing out of the ordinary. Before Shinroku's visits were once a week. Now it has become every day. Of course, her mission is to keep Hazemon under her radar. Meaning that Hazemon, that Hazemon has taken a great fall within the Alliance. Uh, Shinroku. Nani? Do you think you can get that medicine that you gave to Hazemon to help ease the pain? It seems like he's still in great pain. Addiction. Addiction. So I guess it's something like morphine the world I'm from. I guess we can't use it too much. I guess so. Well, you actually should be glad about that, in your case. What are they here? Are you looking for someone? So, so are you looking for someone? Hey, I was going to walk, and I saw you. Of course, that was a lie. The reason why I was out was to find where Chigaku has gone to. To trap Hazumon and the others and killing them deserves punishment by death. That's why if I find them, I was ready to capture them. But Ichigaku and Shibachi disappeared from Edo like a ghost. Actually like ghosts. Probably holding up inside the estate, staying out of sight. I would love to attack the estate. But orders from the Chample and Yasuo prevent me from even approaching Honjo. Huh? Ah, uh, yeah? Uh, sorry, what is it? Huh? But uh, I couldn't continue, because I knew that in history Hasmon doesn't play a part in the revenge attack. And probably Hasmon prob probably probably and probably Hasmon will disappear from the Alcoroni story. That is a fact in history. What I can do is to see him off from this story. But still, I cannot help but pray for the happiness of these two siblings. It was that kind of spring sunset. Spring has arrived in Edo. The church blossoms are blooming in Edo, and the faces in the town seem to be merrier. Town of Edo. But, at the house I live in, there is a quite different atmosphere surrounding it. Wow. Damn it, not again. 
Has him on! What's up? Are you alright? I look to the back of the room. There's Kazmon with bloodshot eyes. He looked like a different person now. His eyes were sunken. And his beard was untrimmed. Hollow cheeks which showed how his daily life was affecting his appearance. Hasman, you have to control how much you drink. Of course. You keep drinking, then you will drink more, and then you may re regret it. And stop treating Kohatsu like this, she doesn't deserve it. Yes? And so, let's pick up the broken bowls. Someone could get hurt. The moon. Well, you say that. Sukuha succeeded in killing him three times. Kind of. Well, maybe not really. First time, we didn't know about the second guy. Second time, we didn't know about the second guy as well. Well, third time was a success. Okay, so let's say once. He succeeded once, so he's still a bit better, man. Atsu. <sighs> These days, Hezuman has been behaving badly. That's really lightly speaking. And the reason for that is undoubtedly the amount he has been drinking. First he drank to kill the pain, and now it seems like he can't have enough. Judging by how he is right now, he is definitely an alcoholic. When he runs out of sake, he takes it out on Nohatsu. If he is compensating the pain of the heart, that is an addiction. Has one breaking plates and such has been happening often now. I worry that Ohatsu will. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm walking right now with you. Ah, smooth, right? Magadai. I was lost in thought. When I bumped into Magadai. What about you walking alone? Same here, I guess. It's another issue, if anything. Oh, Magodai. Her abilities with the sword are equal to Yasube. Probably. But I wonder what happens in battle when she doesn't eat those dried plums. It's not worth us wearing. Well, the truth is. He has barely shown his face to the folks from Akko I explained Hazemon's situation. After Hazemon failed to kill Kira, Alliance members have stopped visiting. And also his demeanor changed from drinking. I thought maybe she would have some advice. If I taught her everything. But what she said was the very opposite from what I have imagined. Disobey the way of the samurai. Wait, I think that's a gun a little too far. Of course the idea was too easy, but Hezmon did want to avenge the late lord and... Hmm. Okay. True. 
功を焦って盛大に自爆したというのが同志の味方になっていますわ Making a name for himself. I could not stand it and barked back. I don't understand why, honestly. It was a stupid thing. I mean, it was obvious that guy was、uh, lying about Kira going on, but you know, h a s i m o n d i d n t t h i n k at all there. I feel bad for his injury and so on, but still. Then, you say the revenge attack you are planning is according to the ways of the samurai. だからこそ私たちはご城代の決意が固まるまで隠忍自重の日々を送っているのです。I would erase it patiently. <laughs> But whatever. <clears throat> it wasn't a patient waiting. <laughs> I remember. Patiently waiting. That's why the revenge attack is a c o r d with the way of the samurai. I felt slightly uncomfortable with Magodai's words. Because the attack in the a k o r o n i n s was far from being a fair fight. Of course, that was an attack that could not fail. Kiran had to be killed. That is why I am not opposing the attack. I just don't know if the participant in, participants in that attack have the right to say such things to Hazemon. <laughs> もしくは飢え死に間近でどうにもならなかった野良犬どものテロだから仇討ちなどではなくただの支援による闇討ちよ Damn it, stop being inside my head! Phew! I stepped outside unable to sleep. I felt a little better after breathing in the wind. Sent out of the young leaves. Also, I got a letter from Moshiji. The letter was about what was happening recently, so it seems like Moshiji was able to read my writing. That means I have learned how to read and write in this era. My god, man. Congratulations. 102nd episode, and you finally know how to read and write. Good job, Suguha. Okay, 102nd episode.、Mm, okay, if we roughly say that each episode was, was half an hour, then it makes it 51 hours. After 51 hours in the game, which is not really true, I think it's over 70 already. He finally learned how to read and write. Wow! Good job, s u g u h a We should celebrate that. Let's throw a party for him. Really, huge party. We should really, really party for the whole area of Edo. Okay, well, let's get to the game, actually. Oh, I don't know what use it would be. Hmm. Sonia felt the presence nearby. I stiffened up, thinking it may be an assassin. But quite immediately, I knew it was not a threat. Because. Watsu? There was Watsu. Sleeping while curled up. Why is she here? Watsu? What are you doing? You're going to catch a cold. <laughs> It's a sleep talk. Good morning, but right now the moon is out. She still h a v e asleep. I guess desperate measures are needed in cases like this. I poked o Hatsu with my finger. Poke? Oh, are you awake now? I want to ask you the same question. Here. I listened closely and heard the snoring sound of Hezemon. 
I can actually hear it from my room, so I bet it is much louder inside the room. That's why we're asleep here. I see now. Edmund is drinking day and night, so the house smells of sake. And the snoring makes it even hard to sleep. Don't tell me you've been sleeping here every night. Sometimes. Why don't you come over to my place? Sleeping here won't give you any rest. Why not? I won't do anything. Yes, and I can guarantee that. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Well, oh, okay, but... Uh, no to lollies, sorry. What did you say? Why not? What? You mean Shinroku? A pretty lady. Who is that? I don't remember everyone coming over. <laughs> yeah, that's Shinroku. Short hair. Ah, that's Shinroku. Hey, Shinroku and, and I aren't like that. Shinroku is one of the Akalo main people who, and we trade information. Yes. Shinroku is a messenger of Asube. Well, I wouldn't mind. But you know, to bet. I don't have anyone like that. What? Yeah. What? Why? Eh? Really? I don't know what good news means. Really? But whatever. But it seems like Ohatsu is happy, so that's good. Now you know that there is no problem for you to come over. If you are going to sleep here, I can sleep knowing it. It's spring, but the night is. A uh, night air is too cold. Come on, let's go, it's nice. Atsu finally made the decision. And got up. Oh man. She was sleeping here. It's like an abused child that can't go home. Well, I wonder what Hazemon will do about that. I guess it's something like that. You can use my bedding, okay? I'm fine the floor. You don't have to apologize. I'm the one who invited you in. Also curled up in the bedding with a little hesitation. Well, I should be fine for a day or two sleeping on the floor. Ah, <laughs> too. Why would you mention that? You you don't have to say it loud for. Thank you? Question mark? Eh, uh, okay. It's a little embarrassing when someone says something like that. I'd say to ask one more question. Hey, what's up? Why don't you go up to Kyoto? 
突然そんなこと。To be honest, the situation isn't good. Not being able to sleep in your own house at night at all. In Kyoto, there are Amoshiji and the others from Akko. Isn't it better to be surrounded by people you know? If you want to, I can ask the Chamberlain. The situation surrounding Glatsu was something I could not ignore. If this continued, Ohatsu would be physically and mentally tired, or even worse. As me someone who will be leaving the story of the Akoronis. I do not know the end of the story. But at least I need to try and separate Ohatsu from Hazemon. But Hatsu replied. でも、初はアニアニのそばにいます。だって、アニアニと初は唯一の肉親ですから。初がいなくなったら、アニアニは寂しがると思います。お初。初のことなら大丈夫です。その代わり、その代わり。That's fine, no problem on my side. I'll keep the door unlocked so you can come any time. Alright, good night. And after a little while, I heard steady breathing coming from the bed. It sounded relaxed and happy. The only family. I understand that. But. But Hatsu. I can't let this go on like this. I thought to myself, listening to the sound of breathing. And. May 25th. In the next episode. For now, hope you enjoyed it. And see you in the next one. Tomorrow. And I will actually also record this tomorrow. Damn, it's weird recording like that. Pre recording is really something. Something. Something great because, you know, you feel safe that you will have the content. But never mind the topic. Uh, as I said, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bye bye.